guys, so to get started on these Christmas stockings, I just have a whole bunch of scrap fabric that I had laying around the house, and I'm just going to make a whole bunch of different ones from there. I also got some jingle bells to tie in on there. And then first thing first, I'm going to just get a blank sheet of paper and draw out how I want my stocking to look. Once I get it the way that I look on the paper, then I'll just cut that out and start tracing it over the fabric. big stockings done I would like to do a small one so I'm just gonna use that same paper and kind of just draw a littler one and cut that out and then I'll trace that also over the fabric and start cutting out that some um, fluffy fabric so I'm just going to cut out that fur and that's going to be for the top of the stocking. I love it. It's so cute. It's just super messy. Right whenever you cut it, it just falls everywhere. It's like a disaster but it looks good on the stocking. And then I'll kind of just fold that in and then as you can see whenever I'm sewing my stocking it is inside out. So I'll just sew all the way around there and then I can actually just flip my stocking inside out. And voila! That's it. I like to do the serge all the way around it and then do a straight stitch just so it stays a little bit tighter and I know that it won't come undone very easily. fabric and um, it's like you have to do it by hand and it breaks my needle all the time. This one broke and actually I didn't know but my serger has broke at the bottom somewhere. It's one of like the needles at the bottom that keeps threading the needle. So now I have to go get my sewing machine fixed because of that which I'm not happy about because I love sewing and it's going to take away a lot of my actually doing outfits and my swimwear and all that, I'm not really going to be able to do it because I have to have those stitching just to make sure that my fabric stays together. good note, the stocking did come out beautiful. I love the sequence. Sequence is always a must. It's beautiful no matter what. Outfits, on stockings as you can tell, anywhere. 
sequence looks amazing. And now that I'm getting to the top of my stocking, I'm just going to fold it in there and then do a stitch over that so it'll already be tucked in. So whenever you turn it inside out, it will have the nice clean look on top of your stocking. So as you can see there, I just took the clear string and did like a loop so I can hang it on the wall and I stuck the bell on there. And then for this next one, I am just going to get the um, clear thread and I'm going to thread all the way around the stocking just so that top part stays in and gives it that clean finish on top. And then I'm also going to leave a little loop at the end there so I can hang that one on the wall as well. And you won't even be able to see the loop, it's just going to be clear. I did do it double the string just so it'll be a little bit more thicker than just a thin piece of clear string and that's the um, thread that I'm using there, the clear thread. And this one I'm just going to tuck in the bottom part of the fur because uh, you can kind of see where I cut the fur so I just want it to look nice and clean so I'm also just going to tuck that in and I'm just going to sew some bells on there as well so as I loop it through I will add a bell as I'm going and then I'll also leave the clear loop at the end there so I can hang that stocking on the wall. So I'll just do that for each one where they'll all have the clear loop and it will be a double loop just so it'll be a little bit more thicker.